that was good. <laughs> Hey guys, Jeremy here. Sorry I've lost my voice. I've got a little bit of a cold, but I really, really want to talk about Split. Shyamalan, you did good. First off, I want to say this is my new cup. This is my new Iron Giant cup. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of where I found it. Split is probably one of Shyamalan's best films in like a decade. It's good. Ever since The Visit, I've been kind of giving Shyamalan a second chance because in The Visit he acknowledged how much of a douche he was when he was at the peak of his career and the silliness of his movies and his own sort of attitude. And I think he had really had a rebirth. And so when Split was coming, even though it was in a January release, I was still on board, mainly because of James McAvoy. James McAvoy is a fantastic actor. And while the concept sounded absolutely absurd, I was still very interested in it. If anything, there's a movie that I compared it to, it was Identity. And Identity was kind of a silly but interesting sort of crime thriller film involving multiple personalities. And I like this one way more than that movie. The concept of this film is obviously that three girls are kidnapped by James McAvoy and they wake up in this underground cellar and then they start to realize that James McAvoy has different personalities. So he supposedly has 23 different personalities. And in between all the scenes of the girls trying to figure out how to escape and dealing with the different versions of McAvoy, we keep cutting back to his counselor. And admittedly, at first, she's really there as exposition. She's explaining sort of the mythos of the idea of different personalities. There are some parts in the film that you're gonna go like, okay, this is getting a little weird now. But in terms of how the film is working, it does it well. It's a slow progression, but it's a good progression. The characters in this film are amazing. Obviously, James McAvoy is phenomenal. The idea of having so many characters to portray as one person must have been extremely daunting, but he takes it so well. And the moments that you're waiting for and when he changes physically from one to another, those are great because all he has to do is just change a few facial notions and you can already tell who he is. In most situations, you'd have to wait for a voice or sort of an action or a mannerism, but he literally just changed his face from one person to another in terms of how he was holding his head, where his chin was, how his eyes were, eyebrows were placed, and I already knew who he had manifested into. That, it was so good on McAvoy because what he doesn't have a mirror in front of him he can't just tell so he had to remember these mannerisms the whole time you're wondering what is the beast what is he working towards what is his purpose what set him off and what is cool is as we're learning more about him at the same time we're learning more about the main character the girl from the witch and she was really good too. The editing in this film is phenomenal because of the intercut play back and forth between her story and then the story that's been going on in the present. And the whole time, we keep on wondering why she is the way she is, why she's reacting to situations with such a calm, if not understanding demeanor. And as the film regresses, we understand more about her. We understand why she is calm in these situations. And throughout the film, the cinematography is creepy, but really good. The shots are like this quite often. And while that's weird, and the fact that I was at the very front of the theater, it was really cool. It really brought you into a sort of a creepy atmosphere. The other thing is that this film isn't really a horror movie. It's a thriller, kind of like Shyamalan's works before, but there's not a lot of horror elements. There's not a lot of jump scares. If anything, The Visit was way scarier than this film, in my opinion. The atmosphere is scary, but there's no jump scares. There's just a really cool tension in the film. The one thing I will say though, if I do have a complaint about this film, is that it goes on a little bit too long. And near the climax, I was kind of going, all right, let's 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 wrap this up, all right? And admittedly, that is it. That is the only issue I have with this film because every element that you kind of wonder, why don't they gang up on him? Why don't they, you know, why don't they do something against him? The film addresses that. It's a lot like 10 Cloverfield Lane. It's already addressing the questions that you have and it's doing it in a smart and intelligent way. And I'll admit, 
this film's ending made my jaw drop. I couldn't believe it. I was, I actually said out loud, holy shit. I was amazed at how cool this movie was. I love the ending. I was the last ticket. I went there with my friends from work and I went up to buy a ticket and then they went up to buy a ticket and they were all gone. I literally had the last seat apparently. And that was crazy, but I have honestly, because I was so close to the theater, I was at the very, very front, that made the film far more engaging for me. And honestly, I'm gonna possibly watch horror movies closer up now for this reason. But in the end, I'm gonna give Split a six out of seven. I think it was a phenomenal movie. I think that the ending had a really cool sort of, not twist, but twist at the end. And honestly, I think Shyamalan, as long as he stays within this sort of realm again, I think he's back. It's just as long as he doesn't get let the reviews and the hype and everything get to his head like he did last time. But I think he's learned his lesson. But either way, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.